Well, today we have two unique things from Hunky Dory. The first is collage wallpaper that has the florals on one side and then it has ginghams on the other, all sorts of colors. We also have the Cottage Garden uh, foiled cardstock. It's foiled all the way to the edge and we're going to make some really fun projects and uh, Heidi has created all of them just for you. Please come play with us. Well, let me just get into the product a little bit. This is eight by eight. There are 48 sheets in here. There are 12 designs. You're gonna get four of each. And as I said, there's going to be floral on one side and then the uh, gingham on the other side. Let me just flip through here, let you get a taste of what's going on. Yes, that's just a taste, I know. But I will show you what Heidi has used. And on the um, cottage garden, as I said, the uh, foiling goes edge to edge. And there are, in this one, 16 sheets. These are A4 size, so, you know, think about it as an eight and a half by 11. Um, and there are eight different, you get two of each design in two different colors. So let me just show you. These are the ones that she did not use, obviously. I will show you the ones that she did use. So you've got just a beautiful array of colors and all in a uh, more of a subtle tone and all foiled beautifully. Okay, let's get into Heidi's first project, which is a slimline card. So this is going to be three um, by three and a half by eight inches. And she has in all of these paired some of our products with them. So to begin, she has used X-ray flowers. So this is the X-ray flowers solid cardstock. And you can see the green that's here. And that's what she covered her uh, slimline card with to begin. And then she took this sheet out of the eight by eight collection, that cottage wallpaper and has um, matted it on a light purple, also out of the x-ray flowers. So that's what's going on on the front of her card. Now, on the back of this, there is the purple gingham. Now this is a micro uh, style, so it's, it's very tiny, and that works well on card making, as you know. So then she took, um, and did some squares. Now, Heidi used the um, square um, cutting dies, or excuse me, the rectangle cutting dies. Yes, rectangle palette. Um, you can use that or you can not, your choice. The measurements are in the directions that are down below. So you can just click on this card and you'll see. So she has done the uh, purple and then matted it on green. You can see the mat is a little bit larger than what's going on on the front of her card. So that takes care of that. Now, I hope you can see that there is a thin border. And what she did is to place the um, gold thin line dazzles, and you can get this by itself or in a package with the other, other colors, and just placed it right along the edge just to give a little bit of definition, but also to really go with what's going on with those dazzles. And because this is a uh, cottage garden floral, she has elected to use these dazzles. Now this is the roses and butterflies. You can see the butterflies right here. The roses, well, they're in silver and gold, and she has used the gold ones in, on her card, and she has just placed them on top of her uh, gingham. Now, these are what we call embossed dazzles. Now, that means that they are not the outline, but they are a solid design. Let me open this up just to give you a better feel for this. And so let me just lift this up. And you can see that they are see-through, but they are a solid piece. And that embossing is the foiling, just really gorgeous. So when you place it anywhere, the paper or whatever you have behind it is going to show. But the foiling is really going to give you the outline and the design of the, of the um, piece. Okay, now what's going on in the middle there? Well, that is a die cut. It too is from the x-ray flowers and the surprise has been foam taped up 
And there are some uh, jewel dazzles in there. And these are also the gold ones. Now she did use the tiny ones. I know that's hard to see, but um, because there are 540 dazzles on there, but she used the tiny ones right there and also into her uh, embossed. You know, I realized that I forgot to tell you something. There is a border that has been used and it is part of the die cuts. You can kind of see it right there. More importantly, you can see it right here. And what she did was to cut it into um, a couple of inch long strips and glue it underneath that matted gingham. So piece right there, another piece right there. And then she saved another piece for something else. Now she did do a bow and that is done with the bow maker. That is Heidi's secret weapon and the light pink ribbons. And the light pink ribbons are gonna be used again. So we'll just keep those handy. So that's the front of her card. For the inside of her card, she has used another piece of that same patterned um, uh, paper. And then this is the plaid that's, or the gingham that's behind it. So this is about, oh, a one inch, and then you've got the rest of this with this one. Now here, she has a, another thin line dazzle going right along the edge. And this is one of the die cuts placed at an angle. And then we've got the butterflies showing up. So there you go. Just, there's three of them. Pop, actually, there's four of them. And very fun. Looks like she cut one in half and had part of it kind of resting on the border and the other one right over here. And again, the jewel dazzles are also accenting those pieces. So if you've not tried the embossed dazzles, you might take a look because they're really, they're really elegant. Okay, we're going to go to our next card. And this one, so um, normally we use our five by six and a half inch cards, but what Heidi did is she trimmed it down to five by five. So you can do that, but also Hunky Dory has a five by five cards and envelopes that we carry. So that's another option. So she did this and let me just show you what she's going to use. So in this case, she went into the carnation, um, plain a solid cardstock, as you can see right here. And please notice it also has a white in it, so that's going to be necessary in a moment. And then she's also going to use the carnation die cuts. So that's going to work out nicely. Now, what she's done is she's placed the fold at the top, as you can see, and she has trimmed a, um, a green gingham, as you can see, and it's on the back of this one. She elected just to use the gingham part, and she matted that on the gold that's part of the Carnation solid cardstock and glued it down. But wait a second, before she glued it down, she took a piece of the one of the pink, light pink ribbons and wrapped it around. So you can see it's about a half an inch from the edge of the mat. And then she took another piece of ribbon, about two inches long, and just simply tied a knot onto the first ribbon. And I think that's a really nice look and gives a nice accent. Now, she has then moved on. And in this case, she has used the uh, gold shimmer cardstock, which is a glitter cardstock. And she has used the nested arches. And let me show you right here. So that is an arch that is going. It kind of got covered up by the flowers. We'll get in a little bit closer so you can really see that. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, maybe not quite as close, but a little bit out. There we go. So there is the arch. And then she has one of the die cuts, and that again is from the carnation set. And you just pull it in. In fact, it's this one. May your day be filled with sweet surprises. So that's going to go. And then she has used, um, this is the Tiny Flowers and Leaves number two. Number one has been gone for quite a while. What is really nice is that when you run this through your machine, you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, 14 flowers in one swoop. So that's really nice. And you can see that she did the flowers out of the pink and the white um, and the light pink 
cardstock that is in the Carnation solid cardstock. So let me just bring that back to show you. So you've got that array of colors. And she did something else. So Hunky Dory has this embossing set and Heidi has recommended that. So when you uh, go do the cutting of those flowers and you put them together, you can see as she's done, so she's mixed the shapes. Then you can take um, one of these and I would take one that probably has a smaller ball. So about like this and put it on um, like a mouse pad. So something that's gonna give a little bit. And as you push and just kind of wiggle this around, it will cup and that's going to give you another look. So that's a nice thing to have and we're happy to carry these. And the other thing that she has done is some inking. So, um, you know, something I didn't tell you is that the leaves are right here. Now the leaves are larger, obviously, as you can see than the flowers, but you can see what a nice job they do here. And that green is also in the carnation solid. So to do some coloring, she has taken khaki and used a smaller of the blender br blending brushes because this is a smaller um, size and placed the leaves onto her craft mat, dipped the uh, blending brush into khaki and then just rubbed the outside. She did the same thing with some of the flowers with blush ink pad and again, just went around some of them. Now, the other thing that she has done that I thought was interesting is that she has used the crystals and this is the raspberry crystals. And as you know, just place a drop, just a drop of the specialist glue and then you can place your crystals. And if you don't have that uh, double ascended jewel picker, you will want to have one because it just makes it so much easier. Okay, there's another bow down here and you can see what's going on there. On the inside, she has covered the whole thing with the um, gingham and has done a strip of the solid and also matted the, um, the plaid or the gingham again. Sorry, I keep calling it a plaid, that's wrong. Now, both of these are foam taped and um, you can see this end is foam taped, this whole piece is foam taped, and then this end is glued down. So it's going to rest as one level another bow here and another wrapped piece right down there, tying it again, so that's nice. Now, these flowers um, were not inked as much and they are doing the uh, raspberry. Now, Heidi listed also these lemon crystals. So on the front, some of those are the lemon. So I didn't note that earlier, but you should be able to see the pink and the yellow, very pretty. So there we go with all of that. A lot of things going on. That's a really good look, I think, for a lot of um, card making and paper crafting and scrapbooking. Okay, here is the next card. And this one is uh, a stand-up card. And so it is, you can go just like that. And it has this little extra part that pulls out. So how do you make that, you might be wondering. Well, you're going to need um, two pieces of cardstock. Well, you're gonna need a card to begin with. And this is a, uh, a tent card, I believe. And um, we're going to have the fold at the top. Then the other way that you can make this is out of white cardstock. And in this case, Heidi has chosen the newsprint floral solids and the newsprint floral uh, 12 by 12 pattern. There you go. I'll show you which sheet she used. And also the newsprint floral die cuts. So all of those are going to play with this. So you can cut this. It will be 12 inches by five. And then simply score it in the middle at six inches and you've got a tent card that is five by six. So that will become your card base, but that protrusion is this piece. So it's six and a half by five, and we're going to go from the left side and start going in, and we're gonna go in half an inch and score it, two and a half inches and score it, 
four and a half and score it, and five and a half and score it. And then we're going to accordion fold it. But before we're going to do that, we are going to put a strip of extra sticky tape. And you know what that tape is. It's got the red liner. And then we're going to do the accordion folding. So from the narrow end, we're going to go in a valley and then a mountain. And as you know, accordion folding means every other one changes of another valley and another mountain. It's going to look like that. Um, it would be handy to have the bone folder to um, uh, you know, make those secure. What Heidi recommends when you are scoring this is to put it on an adorable scoreboard. And that way it's just super, super easy to do those scores. And then you've got the bone folder to uh, burnish those folds and really make those secure. Okay, now next step is how to attach it. So we have our card right here, and we're going to take the um, extra sticky tape, remove the liner, and place it on the inside or on the back of the card front. Okay, does that make sense? On the back of the card front. Then you have this all set and ready to go. So just like that. You may want to keep uh, a memory of this and <laughs> write those down so you've got this for future cards. Okay, now Heidi has chosen this piece of the um, cottage garden adorable scoreboard. So you can see it's got all those sprigs, really pretty green. And I think that's what led her to the um, newsprint floral. Now this is the sheet that she's going to use. So her first step was to cover not only the card front, but also each of the two steps in the dark green. And the dark green is of course in our solid cardstock. So you can see it right here. It is the darker green. So those pieces are going to cover each of those three areas. Then she took the newsprint floral. So let me just show you how this works. So you can see that the darker area, hopefully you can see, is over on the right and then it goes across. I think you can see it a little bit better, maybe on the bottom one, okay? However, this mid-step flipped it around and has the dark area on the left. So, dark area on the right, on the left, on the right. So, a small thing perhaps, but I think it just gives more interest to your project. Then, she cut a strip of this and has glued it down. And that is a vertical piece right here and then a narrow horizontal piece down in the front. So that worked very nicely. Now, staying with the cutting dies next, she used the wreath for all seasons. Now that cutting die has got, uh, got the wreath, it's got some other pieces, but in this case, she simply used the wreath and she did die cut it out of a light tan. That's also out of the newsprint floral. And when she glued it to her card, she put it toward the top, so it's not down here, because that's going to get covered up, and did it over toward the right-hand side, so just like that. Now, to adorn that wreath, she used the newsprint floral flowers. So you can see there are quite a few flowers here, and they are going to give you this open-cut design, and you can see it right there. So there's the flower, there's the one big piece, the smaller piece, the, the two-step piece. Now these two have been inked, same colors that she talked about, or that she used in the last project. So with khaki into the green areas and blush in over the pink areas and simply glued those in place. And again, she has used some jewel dazzles, but this time these are the gold pearl jewel dazzles. So they're not as flashy as their shiny cousin, but they do give a beautiful gold look, which is what you want to duplicate. The um, Just For You is from our script greeting dazzles, and this is a set that has um, all of the sheets in black. 
And so there you go. That's, I love that look of having them span across the imagery that you have going on. I do want to tell you about that bow because Heidi did something I thought was interesting. This is also out of the light pink set that I showed you earlier. So it's been on, now this is the third card that that light pink ribbon set has been used. So she cut two pieces, oh, about two and a half inches long. So just put them one on top of the other and then tied a bow with the bow maker and zotted that and the two other pieces on top. So it just gives you a, a different look. And I thought it was really nice. Now, right there, you're going to have another single flower and the uh, leaves. And then down in front, you have a single flower, but three leaves. So that is taken care of that. So you can see how that green just really does a nice job. Now on the inside of her card, okay. Again, she's covered it with the tan solid newsprint floral. And then a bigger piece of that um, uh, cottage garden oiled cardstock. There's another wreath and more of the flowers, as you can see. But then she put uh, another p a piece of this, and this is the inner area of the newsprint floral, as you can see. So simply cut a piece of that, matted it, and the just because it's from the same dazzles, and you can see just a knotted ribbon has been zotted there, and the um, gold jewel dazzles are also placed. So that's just really pretty. So very, again, it's keeping into the lighter shades of um, both of the, um, the uh, Cottage Garden adorable foil and then also of the ginghams that were used. So very nice. I have one more card for you. And let me show you this. So this is obviously a circle card. And in this, our, uh, our fold is at the top. Now what Heidi did, is she used this piece out of the uh, cottage garden to make her card. So she cut a strip that was 11 by five and a half, scored it in the middle at five and a half and folded it. And then she took the circle scallops, circle and scallop dies and used the largest circle to cut the card just like that, you can kind of see it, can't you? And you do wanna make sure when you're doing that, that you cut just, you, you place the die so that it's not going to cut the fold. So you're gonna extend it out a little bit, okay? That's just our label <laughs> to tell me uh, that this is the last card on this webisode. So let me take that off. There you go, now you can see it. Okay, let me turn it back over. And Heidi has used a series of those circles and she is using, let me show you what she has elected to place with this, is wildflowers and wildlife pattern cardstock as well as die cuts. And she has also used the Rich Miri cardstock. This is a hunky dory product. So you can see just as I set them here next to the dies, is that the circle was the first one and that's the largest and then she's going to go down and do a circle out of the rich miri you see then she's going to go into the um, pattern cardstock and she's going to do one that is scallops so she's moving down the next one is going to be a circle now before that gets glued in place she is going to use um, the muddy boots now this is a kind of a charcoal color using that with the blending brush on the edges and you can see it just does a nice job of separating it almost uses it almost becomes a mat okay so that has been glued on top and then these two pieces are part of the die cuts so we've got the little bunny we've got the love you those are going to be foam taped in place and Heidi has used, chosen the gold and silver ribbons, and she has tied a bow with the bow maker, zotted that in place. And then she's also used these. Now these are the um, El Elira, Elira ivory flowers. 
So you do need to glue those in place, but they are a fabulous deal for the price. So there's one there and there's one there, and they do have little leaves also, so that's nice. Now inside, because you used this to make your card, it's gonna be white on the inside. So she's gone back to her um, pattern cardstock and die cut out a circle and did it the same way that she did her, um, her card. And she's also used the muddy boots on the edge of that, so you can see. And then she's gone back to her cutting dies. You know, if you're gonna use them, you might as well use them all. And has done a scalloped out of the foiled and foam taped that in place. And then she die cut. This is, um, actually this is one of the um, die cuts. So you can see the missing you. And there, there's a circle underneath it. So um, that's also part of the set. In fact, it's right there. And those are foam taped, or this is glued and this is foam taped. And then this little guy is also one of the die cuts. That has been foam taped. So we have a tiny bow. We have two more flowers. And then another of the uh, cut, die cuts that's so very thankful. So it's going to read, love you, missing you, so very thankful. So kind of covering a lot of uh, warm-hearted greetings there. And this, of course, is going to fit in perfectly into our 10 envelopes collection, so that will work nicely. Okay, so I think you can see that there are a lot of possibilities with these two products. The Duo Design Paper Pad, the, and it's, it is the cottage wallpaper and the gingham, so half and half. And then also, lots of possibilities with this, with the cottage garden foiled cardstock. So both of these from Hunky Dory. We do have a money saver, of course we do, over on the right side of your screen. Heidi has written instructions for all of the cards. They are down below. You can just click on them. You can print them off if you like. That's an extra service that works nicely. And uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, we hope you will like us, subscribe, then head on over to paperwishes.com. We have that money saver and lots of things to share with you. So that would be wonderful. I wanna thank Heidi for, as always, doing a wonderful job on her projects. But I wanna thank you most of all for being part of our Paper Wishes family. Bye-bye.